Ladies and welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video is obviously um, talking about the, the the players of Celtic. Obviously, um, some players getting called up, some players getting snubbed. On the other hand, <coughs> Ralston. Um, we're going to talk about that. And you know, it's I hate you know last season it was like yes, and Arsenal, international games you saw Scotland obviously qualify, but also that's because the the horror, the pain of Celtic, see Celtic season last you know last year was like, you know where uh, that season you know last season was really painful. So every time we were glad that an actual break, but this time you know the men were carrying you know the such, you know we're top of the league three points clear, beat you know through the semis of the um the Scottish Cup and we're facing Rangers uh, in the semis on Easter Sunday. Kyogo Rising. <laughs> Uh, but you know, um, that's where we are. And, you know, say you know, some might say you know, uh, it's a bad time to stop. But I know we do have one more game, Ross County the weekend, then uh, an actual break. But uh, some may say you know, oh, you know, we should be it's disappointing because we could keep going that momentum. But you know, it'll give the lads, you know, like Kyogo Turnbull more more time to um, rest and you know rest, recover, and obviously try and get back in the squad again. And, um, our lads, you know, stay he here. Um, who didn't called up for their internet, their team, the international squad. You know, they'll just keep focusing on the late focusing on, and she will just keep them up to speed on that. But yeah, before we get it, guys, please stream like, and I really like your the support in the channel, guys. So we'll keep that up. But yeah, um, through we'll try and have a podcast. It's been tough because everybody's busy, but you know that's that. Um, schools and. Uh, people got football chain and all that stuff, so it's it's kind of busy to get one done. But I'm still here, guys, to get um a video, trying to get a video done. So yeah, let's get it done. Let's start with Tony Rawson. Rawson is not even called up for the Scotland squad. We saw that uh, the, the announcement was yesterday. But they call, a, but they call up a guy who can't even get a game for Everton. Great logic, Steve Clark. Brilliant, brilliant logic, Steve Clark. I mean, I don't. Where does he get it from? Ralston's played more games than Patterson when he's at Everton. This guy can't even get a game for Everton. Patterson. Ralston's put a massive shift for Celtic this season. He's been a, a. That's why he's got a new contract at the November the last year. You know he's put a really great shift in. Everyone thought, oh, he's he's gone. When you know at the summer there, he, the summer back there, we thought, yeah, that's a Ralston gone. But he's turned it around. Fair play to the guy. He's actually wanted to play. He's wanted to show Ange what he has, and he's showed it. Uh, when he didn't have your action, when he actually been injured or something like that, we've had changes. There's some tears in the put your aunt, and your aunt, He's been solid. I'm not gonna lie, he's been a brick wall. Literally brilliant, fantastic. Never gives up. That's what we want to play. I think most of the teams like that this season. You know, with the players what you have in that squad will never give up, which is great to see. Um, but I want to talk about um, the players who did get called up for the squad. We'll go back to Ralston soon. But yeah, the players who didn't get called up for their international team, Rio Tati and Deza Maida, have been called up for the Japanese squad. Um, no Kyogo and Gucci. So that's interesting news, no Kyogo. So you'd imagine if Kyogo would be you know, behind the scenes, he might be slightly back. You know, the might, there might have been a chance you've seen Kyogo in there, but he's not. So that's realisation that he's not far off coming back. But... He's still, you know, he's still injured, you know, he's not nowhere near playing. And Gucci, um, you know, he's only came back from injury three weeks ago, so I wouldn't imagine he would get called up. But, yeah, um, good news for them, you know, get more uh, international experience. And <laughs> good luck to him, as I say, all the, the players are going international duty, because it's, it's great to show off. It's Andrew's like, you know, he, he wouldn't want to hide away. He wouldn't want to say to a player, you're not going international duty. You want to... It's such a great talent. It's such a great honour to be picked from your squad, and that's why I don't get Steve Clark because Ralston has played out his skin. He's played. He showed Ange. He showed Ange. You know, I can what I can do because that's what he, the start of the season was. Just everyone came had a chance, and Ralston took his chance. Deserved his four-year contract in November. Superb. He's dipped a wee bit when he's came back a bit, but <coughs> sorry guys. Um, but. He's not really got to a level where uh, I take him off. You know, he's 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 always there. You need him, and he's actually a brick wall. Uh, some people say so. Yeah, good luck to them. Carl Starfelt now. He's been. I mean, I think that yes, he's still been that. Even Monday night's game proved that you know he's still a bit. Uh, you know, passing it from the back. But 
you know, it's, this is his first season with Celtic and Ange Postecoglou the system. So you've got to say, oh, you know, it's it going to take a wee bit longer to settle in, but he's really settled in so far at the back of the Carter Vickers. And well, can actually Carl Staff have been called in the, the Sweden squad ahead of their upcoming games, like so. You know, Carl Staff out Rangers play for the Landers in there. Um, you are talking Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Anthony Alanga from Man United there as well. But big, I'll be brilliant for Carl Staff because he's deserved it. Since he came at Celtic, he's really proved since his start that he's a solid defender. That's why Celtic signed him. And George S. Giamakis, the new Greece manager, Gus Poyet, oh jeez, I remember him in the Premier League, man, has named George S. Giamakis and his first squad ahead of fixtures against Romania and Montenegro. Well deserved. Well deserved, Gio. GG. <laughs> Gio. George S. I don't know why it's Gio. Um, but yeah, brilliant news, uh, George S. Giamakis, because he's, he's deserved it as well. I think all the players have, well, Wilson. Should be called up, but obviously Steve Comet doesn't see that. But anyway, Steve Dar literally snubbed Rousen. But hell, um, all right, the goal contribution stuff like that. I mean, if I get up, he's, he's a sensational. He's obviously Kyogo went out. You know, it's like ah, oh, who's going to play some drink? Um, Rousen Woods and all that stuff. So it's going to be interesting um, to see how you know he goes in this uh, in an um, in an national duty because that's the first time he's been called up to the national duty. Um, I'll go back to Scotland in a minute, but yeah. Uh, good because hopefully get more at goals and play game time because he's game time here now and it's good to see that that he's really happy he wants to score every game score for every game he plays for Celtic and he did got his goals he was really straight the first half and he never scored a couple of chances he had but he, he, he liked it when he scored in the second half two goals <coughs> sorry guys for that um, but back to Scotland before we get to Denmark um, Cal McGregor and Greg Taylor have been named in the Scotland's squad for the upcoming friendlies, of obviously, of course, the ongoing crisis in Ukraine. Um, you know, I don't know what I could do to mess my time, but yeah, it's good news from that we we could be postponed the game to June and wait to see what happens. So this is for the friendlies against Poland, Austria, Poland, Austria or Wales. Um, so it's good to see that. Uh, like so, she Adams there, and Hickey's gets first caught. Was also good actually, Jim. But yeah, great to one. Cal McGregor, who got his goal like, the other night there against Dun United. And finally, Matt O'Reilly has been called up um, to the Denmark under twenty one squad for the upcoming games. Um, on here, I was wondering where's Matt O'Reilly. It's Matthew O'Reilly. I was wondering, but yeah, um, because his family and his grandparents or something like that are Danish, he's English, but. There we go, we got another English player to Denmark, yeah, that's good, because um, he's deserved that, you know, people expect, no, he's not going to do much, he's off from MKM Don, so he's not going to do much, he came in, he showed it right away against Tarts, his debut, oh my, what a performance, the other night, what a performance, what the, the touches from Matt O'Reilly as well, I spoke about it in the reaction video, what a game he had, what a game, he's, what a, what a, um, you can see why, again why Ange signed him, you know what I mean? Um, because he's got such talent that he can fit right in the system. It's all about just training, you know, getting the match fit. And he, he's done that, superb. And he's deserved that call as well. Oh, oh everybody is. Uh, I don't see what I don't... I'm really frustrated that Anthony Ralston has been called up. But yeah, congratulations to all the players who have been called up for the Celtic squad. And yeah, it'll be an interesting week uh, after the Ross County game. Hopefully three points. It'll be tough. Let's not underestimate any team now uh, to the end of the season. And... Listen, people are already busy, so we'll need to see how it goes for podcast-wise, video-wise. But I'll still be here doing videos, um, but we'll need to see how podcasts go. Around. Maybe try tomorrow, Friday. Uh, if not, I'll be away in the game Sun it's Saturday, so much day vlogging, and obviously uh, we'll see how it goes Sunday next week. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, and uh, it'll be interesting week after that, Ross County win, three points, all you want, and then an national break. I'll be going to the Celtic women's game. Uh, it's part of my season ticket, so I'll be going with... Um, so that'll be a wee interesting video guys for you on the channel so stay tuned to that but yeah um, hopefully the guys who are all caught up in the duty do well and the guys that are staying back here keep fit and keep working hard because we so, as I say the business end of the season coming up so yeah it'll be interesting it'll be a bit you know, oh, we're going to Celtic come back after Saturday so yeah hopefully um, no injuries um, and we'll see you till then but yeah hopefully if not a podcast this week we'll do a match preview and then obviously Celtic Ross County Saturday but thanks for watching please share and subscribe to the video like and I'll see you guys hopefully um, Thursday or Friday for the podcast and then Saturday Celtic Ross County thanks for watching